It is Friday. The, no, it's not. This is Wednesday, the 21st of February 2024. And this is my artist's intention video, which I think is a thing that I've just made up because I'm supposed to write an artist statement and I haven't written that yet because it got really complicated. So this is my intention to write an artist statement. And in fact, the next 12 months, I'll explain. This will be easier. I've talked about this before, but last year, for most of the year, it seemed like I had two big things. Admin, which was running the studio, doing emails, all of that type of stuff, and art. And they both fought against each other. If I was doing art, I wasn't doing my admin. And if I was doing admin, I wasn't doing my art. And they were in competition. So then I wrote art tools to help with my art so that I wouldn't have to put quite so much effort into getting things going. And then over here, I made admin tools. I'd look at all the bottlenecks, the things that took the most amount of time, and then I'd write tools for them. So I spent a lot of time writing tools and writing tools to help make this and this easier. Although I spent more time doing this than this here. Eventually, these got closer and closer together that I stuck them all under the umbrella of Kitty, which also used a whole bunch of AI. So now this was doing a lot of this stuff. And when I worked on this code or when I worked on this code, it all seemed to be the same thing. I didn't really understand what this meant to me. I didn't really have the words for what I was doing. I knew I was doing something, but I couldn't contextualize it in the role of like artist or business management. So I spoke to a whole bunch of friends, which is always a good idea when you don't know what you're doing because all their different experiences, they're much more knowledgeable than I am. They help me put words to the things. I didn't really know what it meant that I was using AI the way I was. I've got over a year's worth of week notes, weekly videos, so that the transcripts have all been fed to the AI over six months worth of morning questions and end of day questions. And Kitty interrupted me during the day to say, hey Dan, what are you doing? And me like typing an answer in. So it's got all of those, the descriptions of the stuff in my shop, the product descriptions, like the AI has access to all of those things. So it's got a real good knowledge of what I'm doing. But I'm also using AI to help me code all the other projects. And I know that businesses use AI in business decisions. And I know that artists use AI to make art, but this seemed like kind of a weird hybrid between the two. And I wanted to investigate that a little bit further. Like, what does it mean when I have Kitty connected up to this pen plotter that I also use to make Make art and it's writing letters for me and postcards for me and using its own handwriting and then it's synthesizing my handwriting as well. This kind of weird thing where it's not automating but augmenting what I do. Like this is an extension of me in a way. And I know that like many artists have already looked into this like automation and studio assistants and computers and robotics and things like that. But I wanted to explore a little bit more about this, this current rapidly evolving area of AI and what it means. Plus, I was really enjoying working on writing the tools, possibly just a little bit more than the art. So diving into that, really appealing. So a couple of things came up and this is really bad framing, isn't it? I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be against. Anyway, two things. First, I need to write an artist statement. And I know it's something that can change over time. It can evolve and it doesn't need to be perfect. But I still feel as though I don't know quite enough about this because it's all so new to me to even get the first draft even slightly right. So that's a little while away. And two, to figure out actually what it all is, which is why I've got all these books. So like practice led research and research led practice or how to conduct a practical based research, art based research, creative methods, the coding manual for all of this type of stuff. It's all completely new to me. And all of these books seem to be saying, hey, when you're doing your thesis or your PhD, and I'm not doing one of those, which means I don't need to be strictly as precise about it. I can take little bits from out of all these different books, hopefully, and put them all together. But this is where I'm at, meaning this is the plan for the next 12 months. I'm going to stop making art or oh, onto that a little bit more in a moment. And I'm going to split my time 50 50 between teaching and then doing all this art-based, design-based research. And the teaching is doing the YouTube videos on how to do pen plotting and uploading all the supporting materials and keeping a website for that. The research is all this stuff over here that I don't know anything about. So more importantly, I'm gonna continue using Kitty. I'm gonna continue developing all the tools. I'm going to be documenting the whole process, obviously here on YouTube, and then maybe at the end of the 12 months have a book or an exhibition where I wrap it all up. And I think that's the plan. So I don't know the shape of it, but it feels like this. Here's me, the artist. That seems like a bad pen. And I think, oh, I'm going to make some art. So then I go through this process of making art and then I have some art. 
So that's what it feels like I've been doing. And through the last year, I've had a number of different things and I've always been working towards them with all the deadlines. Now I think this is what's going to be happening. I'm here. I've got the tiniest legs and I'm working on the process and the process kind of looks like this. And it's just going to keep going. Now out of that process, it will generate various artifacts. Now some are just going to be items for the exhibition at the end, but others might actually be pieces of art, which is the result of this. But the focus is this and not this, whereas here the focus is this and not this. So it's switching it. And because I have the online shop and the online shop is also part of this process, these things will end up in the online shop because that's part of the project. And I still have some things like 70s pop and other stuff to wrap up. So there's that still going on. Any sales are kind of like fun and incidental, but again, through the research that might change and it might become more core of this. So that is the long-term plan. The next two weeks is going to be going through all these books and trying to work out what research-based practice is, all of that type of stuff. The two weeks after that is going to be writing the artist statement. And then we get onto all the tutorials and then more research. So that, this, is documenting my intent for the next 12 months so we can all look back at it and see how wrong it went. And uh, I legit, I legit have no idea what I'm doing. So, uh, so wish me luck. Keep you right.